Hey, best friend. Girl, what you doing? Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best guys. I wanted to come to you guys with this quick video. And <clears throat> I find it ironic that this whole thing went down with um, Miss Little Piggy and Melody, right? Nobody was talking about them. We knew Marcel was going to have the fiance, ex-boyfriend, whatever they are to each other at Black for some expensive event that <laughs> from what Billy Chan showed us, that space is not big enough for nothing. But I digress. So, earlier on, Marceau came on live with the same dude talking about the event and how it's going to be nice. Marceau, it's not the first time you're having people at your event. Why I want to do a live with this dude now, Rashad? Why I want to do a live with him now? And then, y'all, he tried to clear up the fact that, yes, I am millions in debt. But I've always tried to make it or let people know or see both sides of us. No, Negro, you didn't. We had to go search. Content creators had to go search because y'all wasn't putting your real life out there. Okay? And Vanguard, the lawsuit is big. So don't come over here on your live talking about, oh, you know, I'm not afraid to show the good, but um, there's things that, you know, if Negro, you going to be paying. That's what you're going to be doing. But guys, I'm going to put the live here, you know, I let you hear what he had to say. He had to come out after Mel blast him, call him out with his lawsuit that it's a fraud. It's a scam. You just try to get money out of Zen Gardens. You're wicked, you're evil, and you're disgusting. Period. So I'm going to play both clips so y'all can hear. Um, she wants to move forward, but she really don't know how she feel about letting me in because of my friendship. Kind of feel with you. And I told her, this is not high school. We're not in college. We're grown women. What me and Mel do shouldn't have nothing to do with what me and you do. Well, first, let me say this. Um, you and I, our friendship didn't have any bearance when it came to you guys patronizing their business and hanging at their establishment, right? Mm -hmm. Right. They didn't put you out because you're friends with me, right? So it sounds like Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it does. But I, I think we probably going to be in a good space. I don't know how they're going to feel after I dropped this tea of what he said about the expo and you're not speaking. He Me didn't. not speaking? Yeah. Marceau said that he, Why didn't he should have to pay anybody to speak, especially you all. He didn't think you guys were professional enough. And he specifically said if anybody was going to get paid, it should have been Maurice or Ethan Stormy because their business been open longer. And I said, well, I don't know if I totally agree. If we're going to not throw jabs, yeah. then let's not throw jabs because we all can throw some jabs. Like I could say, well, I don't want to be on the stage or participate in an expo with people calling themselves business people who have a five point something million dollar lawsuit for fraud. How about that? <laughs> and truth be told, I've been running. And there you have it, guys. It's the fact that the Scots, including Letitia, downgrades or downplays people's job. They did it to Courtney. They're doing it to Melody. And just making it seem as if there are more business people or business savvy. What happened to all your businesses that you've you've had? They're not up and running. All you said in your deposition is, I can't answer that. So miss me with all of that. So I'm glad Mel checked him. But he did a live. And again, he brought on the guy, Rashad. And they were talking. And he... You know, was saying, you know, how he showed his truth, put his truth and how um, production editing, you know, I guess certain things he probably didn't expect to be out. But I guess the way how production edited. But let me play the um, clip for you with that. Don't forget, y'all hit the, the like and the comment and the subscribe button. And I will talk to you all again later. Hey, all listen. Right? Bye. Listen real quick, man.
I'm trying to, it's time to stay focused, but I keep looking at these comments and y'all don't, y'all don't know who I am. Like, we're about to, uh, uh, the house having a, to finance the party when he's wearing, uh, when he's over 100K in debt and wearing a fake Rolex. Huh? <laughs> said, Brittany Shakira says, how does, how does he have the fine, how does he have the finance to, ignore this, ignore this. I just, I mean, she just said that real name, I don't want to ignore it. Yeah, she needs to ignore it. She said, I'm over 100K in debt. Like, baby girl, I'm over a million dollars. Right, in debt. right, you know, uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, let me, let me, let me, a couple million debt. Let me correct that. It's not a hundred. It's like three, three fifty. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm like three, three fifty. Yeah. I mean, but but they're gonna pull so, up to our shopping center. Yeah. Our commercial. Yeah. Project. Our commercial I mean, property. With the across the street. Right. So yeah, it's, it's not one of those things. It is what it is, man. I, I tell people like this. Hey, listen. I put it out there. I'm not. I'm not running from it. Like, first of all, it's one thing that you and I both know. Like, if, if you want to talk about that. Like, it's more like, I'm more money, more problems, bro. Yeah. And I can't pay, pay my light bill, bro. Is, and I can't no, she said, pay, like, what no. is we talking about? Like, I got to I gotta get the money to be in $350,000 worth. What is we talking about? Like, bruh, this one said $100,000 in debt. It's like, bruh. That's like, what, <laughs> what is we talking about? I'm like, paying, I got 100000 in monthly bills. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, yeah, but, now, you know, way more than that. So, it is what it is, though. I've been there, lost it, got it back. Been there, lost it, got it back. But that's I know how to. That's, that's just business. That's just rolling in 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 the entrepreneurial spirit. So hey, if see. if that's if hey, that's see. if that's all you have, then hey, see, let me tell you something. Dog. Run with it. Real talk. Cheers. Now, I don't even fear. Oh, I gotta pour up. But listen, right now, I don't even fear. Uh, I have no fear of failure. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm gonna fail again. I know I'm going to fail again. I know I know one thing for a fact, all right? This is why one of the things I don't listen to is fans, right? I'm all right. I lost you. Right. <laughs> as a husband. What up, Tisha? What up, Tisha? As a Tisha? husband, it's always you. So I'm just going to move Tisha, this up. Tisha, say what up. Tisha. Hey. What's up, girl? How are you? I'm trying to get y'all on Facebook also so y'all Facebook fans can see as well. Okay, cool. Looking forward to seeing y'all. But no, man. Yes. Man, you know, super dope. Super but, dope. But you know what I I learned a long time ago, man. This is just for my basketball and coaching stuff like that. If you listen to the fans, you'll be sitting with them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, and, and then people say, "Let this stuff speak for itself." I hear you. I hear you, sweetie. Um, here's the thing: that uh, sometimes in life, our purpose is actually to speak for it. You know, sometimes. When 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 you when you aim to be uh when you aim to be influential then sometimes you have to not pop your shit but you have to show what you're really doing and show in the world so that, that's one of the reasons why we always share our successes and failures you know what i'm saying but i, I but i kind of you know my personality is to sometimes i look and i listen and right now because i got more information than everybody else right. i just want people to stay tuned because marcel's happy mm -hmm. Marcel's happy. We'll see.